Assalamu alaikum everybody, peace be upon you. This is my uh, video response to investigate Islam regarding the night of power part uh, 2 and let us start. Anyway, what I'm trying to say to uh, Christians, don't be pissed off because I'm exposing your Bible, exposing Christianity, okay? Because I'm not trying to expose your uh, Bible, I'm trying to show people the truth. Okay, we will start from here. First of all, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not contradict himself. First, he said that the night of power is included in the in Ramadan. Then he said that it's included in the those twenty days, the first ten and the last ten. Then he said it's included in the last ten. Then he said it's included in the last seven days. And those are not contradictions. Because if the night of power is included in those seven days, last seven days, those seven days are from the last ten days, and the last seven days are from the those twenty days, first seven and last seven, and the last seven days are from Ramadan. They still from Ramadan. Okay. Now, if you are trying to find contradictions in the Quran, in the Hadith, and blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I think it's good for you to go to the Bible and you will find a lot of contradictions in the Bible and you will do a good job, as I do. And I will uh, post in the description of this video a link for my series of videos called irrefutable numeric contradictions in the Bible a lot of videos regarding this issue uh, also I want to mention even hypothetically okay I don't believe that but hypothetically the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him didn't know the night of power tell me about Jesus your God if he knows anything Jesus didn't know where is the day of judgment I'm sorry when is the day of judgment and when they asked him about the day of judgment he said nobody knows but the father oh fine well you are God you are the son of God you will be the judge in the day of judgment you will be the judge in the day of judgment how the hell you don't know the day of judgment if you are the judge Jesus didn't know the seasons and when fig fruits are available and when the fig fruits are not available and he started cursing the fig tree as a moron okay I don't believe that he did that by the way I don't believe that he did something else you have to know that Jesus didn't know that he is going to be crucified and he was praying please God please don't leave me please don't make them crucify me and kill me <laughs> he was crying like a kid he didn't know that he is going to be crucified and he is God come on man then I'm trying to say that you don't need to call the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, names and call him fat, call him liar, call him this and that and this and that to prove that you're stupid, okay? To prove your point and to prove your bullshit, you don't need to call the Prophet names, okay? Because that pisses me off. And when you pisses me off, I will expose your Bible more, okay? So don't even try to piss me off more. As much as you piss me off, I will expose your Bible. So bad, believe me. Anyway, uh, I apologize for the good Christians because that speech was for the bad Christians, the haters from the Christians. And for good Christians, if you want to find the truth, go read the Bible. The Bible is the best way to convert Christians and make them leave Christianity because they will find a lot of bullshit and contradictions in this Bible. So, my advice for you Christians, go read your Bible. 
concentrate, read, memorize, and repeat the Bible. This is the way to live a Christianity. And thank you very much for all.